every flower doesn't bloom at the same time. Every person doesn't peak at the same age. We all have our divine time to flourish. And one thing about you is that people gave up on you way too soon. Never in a million years did they think they would ever look back on little old you and see something amazing. You were written off. You were outcast. You were rejected. But now, or for some of you guys in the near future, you're going to get the last laugh. How will it happen for you? Well, for everybody, it's going to be different. But what I can tell you is this. It's going to fit your background. It's going to help you heal a space where maybe there was an illusion. Okay. A lot of times you may think, oh, I was rejected because of this or this happened because of that. But little do you know, there are these background things happening that make people make the choices that they make. And then later on in life, those same people say, well, you know what? If I had the courage or if I really just thought for myself, I would have made a different choice when it concerns you. Okay. This is what someone's thinking from the outside. But for some of you guys, it's a lot of people. There are going to be a line of people particularly exes or maybe people from the past who passed up on you, where something about you is about to make a lot of sense. It's going to make sense now. Something about you didn't make sense in the past, but you've been prepared for a time such as this. And now you make sense. Okay. You make a lot of sense now. So that's what you get for staying true to who you are back then. And now, all right, so we're going to be getting into these vibes to see why you getting this last laugh first card up. Oh, the six of wands. Wow. We had this in the other reading um, as what you don't see going on. But right now, as it stands, like what's your energy? What's your vibe? Well, it's this public success, public victory. A lot of you guys who have had those backgrounds of like rejection or underdog type energy. This is that part of the movie where you win. Right. Where it's all turned around and now it's like, well, well, dang, I wish I would have known that you was going to win because I would have treated you different. Okay. The six of wands, the success. All right. So some of you guys have stepped into that energy. This is like for all the good that you've done, it's finally seen like, yes, the success, the, it makes sense now. Let's say somebody said, oh man, I can't deal with you. You over dramatic. But then you win an Oscar for a drama movie. You know what I'm saying? Best drama actress. Okay. So it works for you. It may not have worked back then, but again, divine timing stepped in and it was your appointed time to, you know, for the real you and authentic you to shine in a space where it was meant to shine. Okay. Some of y'all were shining. You were just shining in the wrong space. They didn't understand the light, but then. You stepped in front of the light and voila, here you are, six of wands. So let's see what's going on behind the scenes though. What it is that you can't see as it pertains to the right side of your screen. You got these people lined up. You got these flowers. You got this look in their eyes. What's going on? Mmm, five of wands. You got this look in their eyes. And that is a look of jealousy and envy, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. And it might not just be towards you. It's competitive energy towards look at all the other people standing in line. It's like, okay, I'm showing up in my white suit and he's showing up in his red checkered suit and he's showing up in a white suit and we all holding bouquets of flowers. So we got to compete. So what you don't know is there may be in the background, some people competing for your affection or your attention. There may be some things being said back and forth. Somebody may be saying some bad things about you and somebody else may be like, no, nah, man, you can't say about my, my ex. 
Okay, but then also I keep getting about that look in the eyes, but you don't see behind the scenes. Oh yeah, baby, it's some jelly, jelly, jelly. Some people jealous of you, and 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 it's so interesting. I hate to say it, some of it might be you know masculine energy. Look at that six of wands. That's a position a lot of people wanted to be in, and that's where you get the last laugh. I said it in another reading. Some of y'all are effortlessly living some people's wildest dreams particularly the people who told you you'd never do it some of y'all are doing things that you didn't even ask for not even knowing that it was somebody's secret dream this is what i'm getting you're getting the last laugh because there are people who have secret dreams that they never even told anybody and you're living those dreams and so somebody somewhere is sitting there with some jelly. They're going to give you them flowers. It's going to melt. Okay. Ruin your little outfit. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. So some of y'all have to be careful. But let's see what's working for you. What's good. What's on the high vibrational end. Okay. Seven of cups. You do have choices and options. And you're able to see through a lot of the confusion. Remember I told you. It's about to make sense. Something is about to make sense and it's all coming in order. How do I know? Look at the sequence. Five, six, seven. It was only a matter of time. Your steps were being ordered. You may not have understood. They may not have understood. But God knew what it was all going to lead to. And it's so funny. I say your steps are being ordered. Seven of cups. We got some shoes. <laughs> You feel what I'm saying? Like everything was all lining up for you to walk this path. Even though most people would have never chosen to walk the path that you've walked and most of them wouldn't have understood or got it. But now it makes sense. So seven of cups, you're clearing up the confusion just by continuously showing up as your authentic self and life unfolding for you the way that it was meant to. You're on your right path. And again, it don't make sense. Let me tell you the seven of cups in this deck. You go into a ball. So of course you're going to pull out the heels, but you just so happen to put the gym shoes in your purse because your feet might start hurting. Now, when you get to the ball, it makes sense for you to have on heels, but then guess what? It's a sneaker ball. And now, even though you had on heels, it don't, it don't work. That don't make sense. Even though it's supposed to. So you go and you got your sneakers in your bag. You put them on your feet. And now you made it make sense. So even though you're not supposed to have on sneakers with a big ball gown, it's a sneaker ball. Make it make sense. Well, there you go. It's a little unconventional. It's a little unorthodox. It's a little outside the box. It's not your usual. It's not normal. But guess what? It makes sense for this time. This time. Maybe not every other time, but this time. It makes sense. And this is what's happening with you. You're stepping into this time. The time where you and everything about you that's weird or different, where it all makes sense. And now it's like, oh, 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 we get it now. But everybody's thinking this all at the same time. So now it's a line. Now it's a little competition. Okay. So let's see what's on the low vibrational end. What do you have to look out for? Mm, two of cups. <laughs> wow. What you got to look out for? The exes, the people that you love. You was all in love. Like every dream boat that you could have ever imagined. Okay, now that's on one hand, what you got to look out for. Okay, everybody come back in with that love bomber. Ooh, let me take you on a date. Look at these roses, da, 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 all that kind of stuff. Now, for some of y'all, just for some of y'all, on the other hand, this is you've closed your heart to love, right? Let's look at the dynamic. Remember, I said it's the look in the eyes. Okay, five of wands, two of cups. We got two different vibes. Somebody in love, somebody ready to fight. Okay? So, you got to figure out who is who. But remember, luckily, seven of cups, 
you've learned how to cut through the confusion anyway. You know how to sort it out, what belong when and what to do with who. So you're going to have to continuously do that as you move along, as you become greater and greater and greater. So are you close to love right now? Or do you need to watch out for exes coming back with that love bombing? Okay. You got to figure out who's who for real. Let us see next seven days as it pertains to this energy. Mm, ten of wands. Ooh. And you're going to have to let it go. So for me, that explains the two of cups. I'm going to just be real. Is somebody want to come back in with that love bombing? But it's like, if they didn't see you before, then don't let them come in now with the six of wands, with this public success victory type energy. This 10 of wands is telling you right here, that's over, that's done. Somebody may be coming back in to finish the job. <laughs> if you know what I mean? It's like, wait a minute. Now, I thought I beat you down good the first time. Let me come back in, love bomb you, snatch your self-esteem, snatch your joy, snatch your confidence, and then 10 of wands you. Now. Don't get back up. Okay. Listen, I'm be real with you. Don't let that happen. You work too hard. You can come too far. I don't care who, how many roses they got. And God said, let them go. Let them go. Now let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Ain't that the truth? Uh-huh. We talking about truth. I was getting it uh, earlier. You can't trick the universe. Right. The truth is the truth and the lie is a lie. Right. And so you're not tricking the universe. The universe just registers you as a liar. Like, oh, OK, well, they're lying. Oh, OK, so they're lying. OK, cool. So let's add some more lying fake stuff into the algorithm. Right. And so then, boom, you walk outside and now you're living according to your truth. And your truth is that you lie. So you live and partake in fake, phony, false stuff. Right. And. For some of you guys, since you have, again, been living by the true, authentic you, you can get the true, authentic blessings meant to reach you. And even if it don't make sense to everybody else, when you stay true to who you are, the algorithm then brings you your true destiny, your true purpose. And you can live that. A lot of people can't live their true purpose because they're too busy being fake and they can't attract and manifest the real purpose and destiny they're supposed to be living. This is the downside. You think you laugh at, aha, I manipulated her, I got the bed. But the universe is just saying, oh, they're, they're pretending. Cool. So let's send them more stuff to pretend about, right? And that's the gag at the end of the day. The gag is you never reach your purpose. You actually live a bunch of fake, uh, different events in life. And then you look at the people who make it successful could be their true authentic self and wonder. Uh, it didn't make sense. Why is it making sense now? Well, the sense is the authentic them attracted the authentic purpose. So y'all remember that when you out there lying, faking, pretending, uh, manipulating and doing all that kind of stuff. Cause you could you could trick the people. You could trick the woman out the panties, but you can't trick the universe because the universe will just register it as, okay, they're being a trickster. They're lying. And then you live a lie. And again, when you see somebody else living their purpose, it's because the true authentic them is who leads out into the world. Therefore they manifest what they are supposed to have. All right. I hope, I hope that makes sense. Okay. So stay true to who you are. It's super, super important to your purpose. All right. So that's what I get for you guys. You're about to get the last laugh. Don't laugh and kick it too hard. I mean, you know, Unless you want to. I mean, it's your choice. <laughs> Who am I to tell you not to laugh how hard or however you want to? But anyway, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys head on over to Patreon for different content. Follow my other social media. Get in the comment section. Let me know how this video resonated with you. And I'll see y'all in the next one.